Hey folks, thanks for checking back in. I just wanted to give you a quick update. Now I've put my input shaft and my clutch baskets, everything is back in the tractor. Now it's, uh, it's not very hard putting that main shaft back in. Realistically, uh, it'd be better if you had some help to guide it. Just remember to put your shims on the back of it. You know you've got shims on the back there on the bearing. Generally, I believe there are three. So, uh, just put the ones back in that came off, as long as they're not damaged. And down below, you'll see we've got uh, two more sets of gears, okay? Now, the one on this side, the one right here, that is your counter shaft, okay? And on the opposite side, you've got an idler. All right, so there's only one gear on the left side and you've got a set of gears on the right and I'm going to show you what's in what's in there so what we've got in here okay this side here this is actually the right side of the machine you've got your counter shaft large gear always goes to the back all right now you've got a thrust washer on each end and it is a pain in the ass to put them in there is a plastic tool that you can use to hold your back thrust washer stationary or, or position it while you put your shaft in, your uh, the rod in to hold it. But I don't have that and I didn't feel like making one up. And then on the other side, you've got your idler. Okay, there's only one gear on there. And then you've got a couple of spacer washers. You've got a thrust washer on the front, front fiber washer on the, uh, the counter shaft actually the both uh, thrusts are are made of brass and you have to re remember there are 68 needle bearings in this counter shaft okay and a spacer in between them and little washers that separate each set of needle bearings and then over here on the idler you've got another 34 needles in there two sets of 17 and the washers that have to separate them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a video on putting that together. The manual is pretty clear on what to do, how many that go in there, but I'm just gonna go on the assumption that not everybody has a manual. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a video on that. This is mine, by the way. It's another MF50A. I've had that for a while. It's it's a good machine. I got it with a bad engine and replaced it. It's been good to me. So one of the other things I found about this machine when I pulled the grill off was that the hydraulic cooler was leaking. So I pulled it off. And at the same time as I pulled it off, I cleaned out my... I'll show you. I cleaned out my transmission cooler and I cleaned out the rat at the same time. I cleaned it from the front and I cleaned it from the back as best I could anyway. So we wanted to make sure we got everything clean because I have, this machine as a matter of fact was running a little hot I found in the hot summer when it got over, you know, 30 plus degrees Celsius, I wound up uh, seeing the temperature above normal. And so I cleaned out the rad and the hydraulic cooler and the transmission cooler and that fixed the problem. So in here, I've got my transmission cooler, uh, my hydraulic cooler, sorry. And we have a leak in that for sure. Okay, we've got some bent fins, but that's not a big deal. That's a pretty stout piece. So I have to pressure test it. If it's leaking somewhere, I'll have it repaired. But uh, I may replace, may wind up replacing. It depends on the size of the hole. But we'll get it fixed up. But stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to put those counter shaft, the counter shaft and the idler together. Show you how the needles go in there and how the spacers are oriented. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.